Email is, by default, not encrypted. Do not share data or information over email. We talk regularly about how email, by nature, isn't secure and isn't a good way to send anything confidential. But in this day and age where security and privacy are really important topics, why isn't email secure already? Why isn't encrypted email the standard? We'll explore both of those questions today. First, why isn't email secure? Let's think of email like this postcard. A nice photo on the front, you write a message on the back, a mail to address, slap a stamp on that puppy, and you send it off to your loved ones. You're not too worried about a postcard being stolen or intercepted because, well, it's a postcard. It doesn't have any sensitive information that would compromise your identity or put you at financial risk. And why would you put sensitive information on a cheap $2 greetings from the seaside postcard? You wouldn't ever do that in real life. But that's exactly what you're doing when you send important information over email. Because just like a postcard, an email isn't secure. Well, okay, then why don't companies just encrypt email by default? They don't because encrypting emails is incredibly complicated when you're trying to communicate outside of your own organization. What do I mean? Let's walk through how to properly encrypt email. To encrypt an email with end-to-end -end encryption, we might use PGP or pretty good privacy. PGP is complicated and creates a lot of friction when sending and receiving emails, something we're all pretty accustomed to. Here's a simple explanation of PGP. You have two encryption keys, a public key and a private key. You keep the private key to yourself, but share the public key with anyone you want to receive encrypted messages from. But anyone you want to send messages to also needs the system installed. That way they can generate their own public key to share with you. This is where it gets technical, so let's fast forward to why this isn't used every day. So why isn't this used every day? For every single person you want to send and receive emails with, you'd need to first exchange and install each other's public encryption keys. But wait a second, you want to add a third person into this email thread? You'll need to exchange encryption keys with that person and install them too. Now imagine doing that with everyone you exchange emails with before you can read each other's emails. Nobody wants to do this. It isn't practical. That's why only a tiny percentage of emails sent and received on the internet are actually encrypted, despite email having been around for over 50 years. If this is the first time you've heard of anything about this, that likely means you've never actually opened an encrypted message. Don't get me wrong, email encryption is effective. That is, if it's set up properly and if it's being used correctly. Training will be required on how to do it. At the end of the day, however, it's just too impractical for everyday use. So how exactly am I supposed to share confidential information? At the very least, don't share information via email because email is not 100% secure by default. We recommend meetings in person, in a private space, wherever possible. However, if there's no other way and you need to send information through online channels, you have a couple options. Give them a phone call or use a secure online workspace service like Microsoft Teams, Google Chat, or other similar software. So be aware that email is by default not secure and why that's the case. And while there are ways to encrypt email, thanks to method like PGP, it takes up a lot of time, resources, training, and communicating with relevant parties to get them on board with the premise. In the end, it isn't worth the effort. If you have questions about how to prevent cyber attacks and data breaches, check out this video here. Or if you're looking to do better in your data security, connect with us. Helping businesses to do their best work while staying safe and secure online is what we do here at ClearBridge.